Well, this morning, diners in South Philadelphia are going to have to find a new breakfast spot. The landmark Melrose Diner is closed down after being seriously damaged by a fire. Action News reporter Taronda Thomas is live there this morning, and people just will, they, they can't wait to hear when they can get back in there, Taronda. I know they were here yesterday asking when this place would reopen and re reminiscing about all the good dishes that they would have here. I want to show you what happened because this place normally would be open now, but it's closed because of this fire. 24 hour diner now reduced to some of this, like the rubble that's down on the ground that came from up there. Look at the roof of the Melrose Diner. You can see some of that wood covering it, some pieces falling down. It's all from this fire that started at 545 yesterday afternoon, but people who love this place hoping it will reopen sooner rather than later. Take a look at the video of the fire from yesterday. This was a scene shortly after it started. An employee of the diner shot this video for us. Firefighters think that this was an electrical fire. It appears that the one alarm started on the roof and employees did all they could to try to get those flames out before firefighters got here. They did work quickly. Everyone got out safely, but as word spread about the fire, loyal customers of the diner, which has been open since 1935, started showing up in the parking lot. They talked about the famous butter cookies, cakes and dishes, and most importantly, the employees. They save our seats. We're here sometime an hour and a half just talking. We met many nice people. They're all nice in there. The help is nice. The owner is wonderful. We have a good time. We're going to fix it again as soon as possible and go back to normal. So that was the owner you just heard from. Look at the sign they put up in the window saying they'll be at Broad Street until further notice, just so people know where they can find those employees. Uh, that owner hopes that he could have this diner open as early as next week. That's very ambitious because originally he thought it may be months before he reopens, but certainly it would be welcome news if they did open next week since those employees are now working about a mile away at that Broad Street location and loyal customers can't wait to come back. Live in South Philadelphia, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News.